Hi everyone, this is Detention Part 5, and uh, after a very strange little escapade a few minutes ago, uh, we are left with a door and a radio. And a save point, but I've just used that, so let's have a look at the radio and see. Okay, yeah, it's a radio. Seems like the static in the room is coming from this. I thought as much. Maybe I can get something if I tune it a bit. Here we go. Oh, that's how it works, I see. The atmosphere in the room's changed. Okay. What else we got? Nice and cheerful. Again, I wish I had some sort of subtitles. I wish I knew what this song was. Maybe it's relevant? Probably isn't. Is that it? I think so. All the way to 108. So there's that one. Just those two. That's quite nice. Let's leave that on. Okay. Now I know what you mean. <laughs> the atmosphere in the room has changed quite a bit, just like the furniture. <laughs> what is this? What is that there? I mean, we're back in the bedroom somehow. Is that a piggy bank? <laughs> it's a ceramic piggy bank, okay. Big round eyes, waiting to be fed. Yeah, through the back. Always found that kind of strange. Sure. Right, um... Come back later, maybe? Can't look out the window this time. And we also can't go back to sleep. Can we leave? I'm gonna try. Someone's home. Okay. Okay. Well, they're not arguing this time, but maybe they just were. Mum's crying. Uh, hi. Uh, I feel like Mum's always been a traditional housewife. She doesn't complain, even when wronged. I really don't like that. So, he was in the wrong. Is this why you don't refer to him as Dad? Or is this like a stepdad? I don't know. What have we got here anyway? There's no way to go into the past anymore. What? Well, I, I think there kind of is, because I think you're kind of doing it. Hi there. What did you do? Who did you... <laughs> who did you have an affair with? Miss Yin? Uh, hang on. Uh, back then, besides the New Year's, Dad never drank at home. I miss the days when he had jokes and stories to tell. Something definitely happened. But, like Miss Yin said last time, kids died because of it? I, there's a piece of paper, apparently. I need to know more. <laughs> I really need to know more. Let's have a look over here. Can we look through this window? Oh, I can't see anything out of it. Where else could this be? I don't know quite yet. Uh, okay. This is the dedicated family picture room, I guess. That's me. Why are the... Hang on. That's... My dad, is it? Yeah, pictures of mum, dad, and I. Why is he sideways? Why is she upside down? And why have the eyes been rubbed off? Apart from when the lights flicker. <laughs> That's really weird. Ah, here we go. Hang on. Oh. I can't I spin it round? Maybe I don't want to. Mm, definitely. I can't even use this one, so... Mm, weird. Uh, let's back away. I noticed there's some bottles there. Dad's drinking. There's a glass juice cup as well. Okay. And I suppose that would be grandma and grandfather. Cool. Oh, the light switch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. Alright, let's take another look at this then. What's with the eyes? Oh. What is that? <laughs> I don't know. What's this supposed to mean? That they made you cry? What's this? That looks like number one. Am I assuming that my eyes making this pink pattern is two in like Roman numerals? Maybe that's two, one. Is that the top of a five? Can I spin it round? 
I feel they should be the right the right way around, you know. I, I still I'm still not really sure what it's supposed to mean. Does it continue to uh? All right, it continues to cry. Oh, yeah, it continues to cry into the cup, and it glows with a dull melancholy now. A filled glass cup. Interesting. All right. Uh, let's maybe turn the lights back on actually, so I can see what I'm what I'm doing. And there's no more crying. Weird. Nothing else we can use? Let me just hover the cursor over the dark parts of the screen right now. I don't think so. There's a door there, but let's turn the lights back on. Oh, it's locked. There is a strange quote on the door, and it says, Meet the right person at the right time. Okay. So that has nothing to do with the lights or anything? Nope. I can still read it. Ray, you're very inconsistent as far as that goes. Get it together, come on. Okay. Well, we're not going any further. Um, what do I do with this? Add it to the table, maybe? Oh, where'd they go? Whoa! Oh, whoa! Oh. I think they're fighting again. Jesus. Alright. Is he throwing her around the room or something? I don't know, I don't know. Uh, yeah, meal time's over, I think. Back to the bedroom, if we can make it there. Huh, alright. So we can... I just, like, left it here. <laughs> so, what about the other one? There was another station that I could tune to. <laughs> this is insane, but I kind of love it. I really do. What was... Th oh, that was that the piggy bank? <laughs> What's left of it? I can see the eye, yeah. Nothing inside it, then? Yeah, a ceramic piggy bank. Broken up for one's desires. So you didn't have any, like, pocket money or anything? Not even spirit money? Or maybe that was burned. Or maybe the parents threw this at the wall, trying to find every last penny. Maybe they were, uh, having financial difficulties? Yeah. Can we still go through the... Okay, the door's, like... Up the wrong way, or up the right way, I don't know. <laughs> Is this another part of my house or something completely different? I don't know. What's up with... Hang on. Oh, whoa, whoa. What was that? Is that, not... Is that a puddle? It's a puddle of clear water on the ground. Yeah. I think someone just went into that first room. Right, so, hang on. I'm thinking back to the the photos now of the family members. I think the first one was five, the second one was two, and the third one was one. So maybe we should go to the fifth door and see what happens. And then the second door? Oh, I don't know. There's a light switch here. Does that make any difference? Apart from the fact that I can't really see the doors quite as well. Uh, no. Anyway, yeah, five, two... And one? I think we'll just keep going back to the same hallway. And nothing but the music has changed. Let's turn the light back on. There we go. Let's just see. Do you go into the first door? Maybe. I, I guess I should just be following the footprints. Let me see. It, I, the door hasn't opened. I guess the water only goes so. F oh, the, the, the air. Yes. Yes. Okay. We need something more than just clear water, don't we? Okay. Yeah, I can see it. Sort of pulsating pink now. It's still clear water, apparently. I don't know. Um, is this... Oh, maybe it's something to do with the light. Maybe... You're right, 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 right. It's that same stuff that was dripping out of the painting, and I can only really see it when the light was turned off. Ah, that's the door you went to. It was the third one. So I, I don't know what the fuck I was doing. Um, sure. <laughs> Let's just go to the third one. This is cool. 
Uh, and then to the fourth, yeah. Who am I following here? The fifth. And... All the way back to the first. This is a neat way of doing the puzzle. Now where are we going? Back into the third. Ah, oh, we have something different. Okay. There you go. I guess I solved it. So what were those lines on the, um... On the paintings or on the photos? I'll, I'll have to have a think about it, I guess. Uh, I guess I can go back there at some point. What's the deal with the syringes? And this is this all feels very, very symbolic. This all feels like it's inside my own head. Feels like I should have a look at what's on the floor. It's a note. Private investigator. Husband cheating. Comes home late. We specialize in tracking people. It's an ad for a PI firm. Catching those... Cheeky monkeys, I guess? That kind of looks like a chimp, so maybe not. Um... And that is that. Hmm. Yeah. I think Dad was cheating on Mum. And I think something catastrophic happened when... when she found out. Now that can't be comfortable. <laughs> Let's just have a look around, shall we? Not much else to look at, actually. Maybe you want to push him down? Back then, laying in bed, I could hear Mum and Dad chatting through the walls. They had such a bond back then. I don't know when their idle chatter turned into deafening silence. Later, Dad only came home when he got roaring drunk. Mum always huddled in a corner, trying to hide her tears. Jeez, man. Okay. I've got a wardrobe here. A little dresser. <laughs> Just for a moment, I thought I was going to jump inside the dresser or something, but no, there's a door in the foreground. Let's go towards that. Oh, now I know what the hell I was looking at. Can we manipulate these? Ah, oh, maybe we need to find some hands. I don't know. Three clocks. None of them are running. But it looks like I can turn the hands. Can I really? Yep. And that's both hour and minute on both of these ones. Yeah, okay. Um, that's why the <laughs> the portraits were like 90 degrees and 180 degrees as well. This one here was upside down and it looked like a one. Maybe it still looks like a one. I can't remember this one, though. It looked like the top of a five, but I'm not sure exactly which way it was turned, so I, I think I need to go back and have a look at those those portraits. And that's it. Can't even use the switch here. But yeah. This is just like the alternate version of the room. It's so odd. Uh, okay. We've got quite a little trek back, I think. <laughs> but do I go back straight away? I don't know. I probably should. I think that's, I think that's what it's got to be. Let's go right, though. Let's see how far this goes. Alright, there's another door. I think that's it, though. Alright. And where is this meant to be? This looks... like school again. The teacher's desk. On it are plenty of assignment papers. Right. Can't we have a look? I guess not. Can't open any of the drawers. What about this one over here? No, it's, it's all the same. What's this? Almost looks like a crack in a camera lens. It's kind of weird. But yeah, there's nothing actually... There's nothing else to have a look at. It's just that. Can't open the cupboards? No. Okay. Still not entirely sure what all this means, I have to say. I'm a little bit puzzled. But, uh... I, I really love solving puzzles, so this game is really hitting me in the right way. We do have a bit of backtracking to do, though. And, um, a little bit of... Oh. Oh, brilliant! Okay, I guess I just remembered the way, so I skipped it. That's that's nice. Uh, 
Let's go back to the other one. There it is. <laughs> Hooray! Everything's back the way it should be. And the piggy bank is no longer broken. What about my parents? Ah. Unfortunately, they did still trash the place. That hasn't been reset. But fine. Let's go back in here and let's take a real good look at those two pictures with the lights turned off. Right. Okay, so yeah, he's turned counterclockwise 90 degrees. Yeah, if we flip that up, it would be 1 o'clock. And that would be... Yeah, okay. So, um... I don't think I have to do anything with the middle one. The right one should be done. It's just this left one we have to deal with. And it looks like the hour hand should actually be pointed right down to 6. And I guess this will be around 9. <laughs> Here we are. Is this it? Okay. I might actually have to go back on myself straight away. Maybe I should be in the other version of this room. Maybe in doing this, I've actually opened that door that was once locked. The door that leads to the bedroom now. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Christ. And I've just realised, I can't actually hold my breath right now. I don't know if that means I... I'm in no danger, but... Where's mum gone? Let's have a look. One day, dad came home inebriated and tripped at the front door. I couldn't stand seeing him on the ground all the time, so I went over to give him a hand. Besides the stench of smoke, there was another smell. A faint smell of powdered makeup. <laughs> it's all coming together, I think. There's some creepy laughing. Let's get out of here. Okay. Okay, yeah. Back to the radio. We need to be in the other version. Let's see if anything's changed. I'm hoping the door's unlocked. If not, then maybe something happened. Whoa, here we go. Ah, turn around the right way. Yes, yes. <laughs> this looks oddly beautiful, weirdly. I don't know, it feels like something like a Hotline Miami with all this neon looking colours and everything. It's cool as hell. What's this? Who's that? Is that Dad? No, I don't think so. I've received your paper plane. I was truly worried you were still having trouble at home. But it looks like my concern was slightly unfounded. Like the white daffodil, you are innocent, vain, and candid in nature. Perched aside a pond in snow white, admiring your reflection. Okay, drop the metaphors, please. Being different from others can be a tough way to live. But I think I can understand that feeling. You said you want to learn more about my time abroad. All I can say right now is that my past is rather complicated. Unfortunately, many horrible things have happened on this land in the last decade. Believe it or not, our society wasn't always like this, oppressive and cold. Perhaps we should take a stroll down the boulevard on the weekend. There are things our censored textbooks don't mention, but are definitely worth knowing. Alright, thanks for that. Alright. Did you leave me something to read? No, this is the paper plane, isn't it? I've actually picked one up. But why this one? And not all the ones that were outside the red house last time. This is so peculiar. Can we have a look at it? Toss my worries out and receive your guidance. Unfortunately, whatever he was reading wasn't quite as important. Paper plane. All right. Yeah, sure, sure. Let's 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 um head back, I guess. <laughs> this is a very, very strange game. Yeah, let's go back. 
Wait, 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 wait. Someone's cleared the dishes. Hang on. And they left me... Another radio station? 103.0? Ah, oh, you can bet I'll be tuning into that momentarily. Here we go, 103.0? I didn't think there was anything up here. Ah, oh, there is now. Alright. Bit of both worlds. Everything's just a little bit topsy-turvy. Piggy bank uh, isn't even here. Or at least, not where it should be. Nothing in there to have a look at. Wardrobe can't even get to, can't reach that high. Let's go. What the hell is this? Is that a... Wait, what? It's a mirror? Oh yeah, yeah. Wait, sorry. Mirrors? Each with their own individual lights? How does that work? It's not exactly a mirror. I'm turning the light on in... through the mirror. This doesn't change. All different shapes and sizes. Oh, this is odd. Okay. What happens if I run in front of it? I mean, nothing. I don't get a reflection at all. They have to be on. Mm, okay. Sure. God, this is weird. Alright, can we just try the door? The door that seems to be floating in midair. Uh, the knob turns, but the door won't budge. Oh, we have another strange quote. It's going to be another strange puzzle, isn't it? Follow that shadow in the dark. Then you will be closer to the truth. There's a shadow in the dark. There's a shadow in the dark. Okay, well, let, tell you what. Let's, let's turn all of these off. And let's see if there actually is a shadow in the dark. Let's take this literally. This is pretty inventive. It's kind of strange. I mean, outside of, like, fantasy games, you can't really do puzzles like this. Then Horror games are kind of cool for that, because you've got, like, carte blanche to do whatever you want, and you can just... You can pull anything out your ass for the reasoning. Right, so that's all of them turned off. Oh! I have a hat. But I don't have a hat. Oh, oh. Okay. Wait. Why aren't you following me? And you're not there at all now. Because you're over, like, there. Let's just turn... Turn that on? Let's see. Okay, you're still there. You're still there. And you're still there as well. Okay. Yeah, I guess we need to get him over to the door. Or whoever's wearing the hat, anyway. So, turn that one off. Does that work? Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> I think I get it? I don't really. I mean, we did it, though. Huh. Where's this? Somewhere in the house? I don't think this is school. Something on the wall down there. A little drawing. Oh, I drew this when I was little. It was always kept, even when we moved the furniture around. Ah, oh, that's kind of nice, really. Where's this, anyway? Our father's study is always neat and tidy. He always gave off an air of seriousness, with a little bit of his own humour. Hmm, that's good old dad. I guess I never quite forgave him after uh, cheating on mum. The kitchen? Or some sort of... hang on. Utility room? Right, uh, something over there to actually have a look at. What about over here? Any cooking or cleaning needing to be done? The cupboards? No? Okay, what's up with the clothes? Some shirts. I received a coin. Okay. So I've got a paper plane and a coin now. I might know what to do with the coin. Right. 
I'm gonna take this slow. I don't really know what I'm running into right now. Uh, a a theatre. Okay, I do. <laughs> it's the theatre's ticket counter. All right. Oh, maybe, maybe I don't know what to do with the coin. Maybe, here we go. Can I have a ticket, please? This doesn't do anything. Shit. Okay. Can we just sneak in? <laughs> ah, the door's shut tight. Because I don't have a ticket, I guess. Or maybe this paper plane is made out of a ticket? No, that doesn't do anything either. Okay. I think we're at a bit of an impasse here. I think what we need to do is is go back to the radio. Mess around with it a little bit. Turn the knob a few times. I think what I need to do is put the coin in my piggy bank. It wouldn't be there otherwise. This is probably my favourite section of the game so far. It's been like the least scary, but it's just so surreal. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah, we need to be on the, I think, the first, on the first station. Back where everything looked normal. Yeah. There you go, the piggy bank is intact and where it should be. <laughs> yes, put it in the piggy bank, do it. Okay. Now, um, I guess there's nothing to unscrew on the bottom of it or anything because I think I need to smash it now. And to do that, we need to go over to 93, 94, 94. There it is. Anything different? What's that? Is that a movie ticket? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm loving this game right now. This is my favorite section. Let's go back into the wacky 103 world. Oh my god! <laughs> I think I went the right way. Is that a brain? Oh my god. Look at all these colours. Look at these fish. A pig's head. This is, this is kind of going so overboard, so surreal, so strange, that it is actually creepy again. Alright. Okay, we're still in the right place! So I still need to hand over a ticket. I still have it? I still have it, okay. There you go. Good day, and welcome. We hope you enjoy your movie. Alright. Wait, what did you mean by my movie? Let's find out. Dad? What the fuck? <laughs> what, only now I've got my pendant? I, I I completely forgot about it. I thought I just had it on me for some reason. I don't, okay, sure. Is that a gift from Dad? I suppose, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Around my neck, I am sentimentally attached and dependent on it. Wow. Okay. Well. For a moment there, I thought we were back in the auditorium, but no, I think the movie's just over. Let's leave. Okay. Back to normality. I'm not going to say the word reality, because I don't think that's the case. Hi. No, I don't have another ticket. I mean, I've got this pendant. What do I do with the pendant, though? Do I do anything with the pendant? There's nothing else in here to do. I've checked this a couple of times. Let's just go back through the study. And then... Ah, hello. Oh, I, I think I get it now. I don't think it was my mum and dad destroying the kitchen. What's that? Aha, uh -huh, aha. Uh -huh. There's a note on the floor. It's a search warrant. A search warrant issued by the district court with a list of public officials involved in a bribery scheme. When I went home that day, father had already been taken away. I asked mum what had happened. She quietly replied, Dad got his hands dirty, but he'll live. Hearing this, I felt as if she was smiling underneath. 
So this was like an elaborate revenge by her. Ransacked the place. Got him put in prison. But he'll live, apparently. Did he? I'm not so sure. Maybe he didn't live. Maybe a sack was put on his head. Maybe a military police officer shot him in the face. No wonder she's got problems, really. <laughs> Everything has been taken. Everything important has been taken, I suppose. Wow. Alright. This is new. This wasn't here before. And Oh, an assignment book! Right, that room that I didn't really know what to do with. Yeah, that, that, was, that was that was a desk full of assignments, wasn't it? Where was that? I can't remember. I think it must be... Yeah, it must be 94. Let's try 94. Yeah, that's it. Right at the end of this hallway. All those assignments on the desk. I guess I have to add my own. Wait, can I have a look? A reasonable excuse to enter the counselling office. <laughs> I suppose so. Unfortunately, we can't go into any, into any more detail. I assume it's mine. What's with the fish? Okay. What's with the different types of fish? Still not entirely sure what to do with this paper plane yet. But I'm seeing them around here, so... I don't have to add it to the floor or anything. Oh god. Hi there. I really wish I could hold my breath right now, although I don't think it's really going to matter. The teacher's desk. On it are plenty of assignment papers. Yeah, you're seeing... you're seeing something else, man. It works? It works! It bloody works! Miss Fang. The counselling process is near its end. I'm glad you're back on track. And hopefully won't be needing me anytime soon. If there isn't anything else, you should return to class now. I still have plenty of assignments to look at. I wonder, did, did I tell them? Or did I keep it in? Maybe I didn't want my mum to get blamed for that or something. I don't know. Anyway, what's up with the desk now? Counselling records, right? Whose? Mine? It's over. No matter what's been written on here, there is only farewell. I, I think what this game really boils down to is uh, a schoolgirl not handling a situation like this very well. And to be honest, I don't blame her. Her father sort of betrayed her and her mother. Her mother went fucking psycho in a way and possibly got his, uh, her father killed. This is a lot to take in, a lot to deal with. And the thing is, I don't think she really mentioned this, or, or mentioned as much as she should have, to her counsellor. Oh. Oh. Are we done? Maybe we're done. <gasps> Alright. This has been a really strange episode, everybody, but thank you for joining me. Hope to see you back in part six, which should be along very soon. See you then. The atmosphere in the room's changed. That's quite nice, let's leave that on. Okay. Now I know what you mean. <laughs> the atmosphere in the room has changed quite a bit, just like the furniture. What do I do with this? Add it to the table, maybe? Oh, where'd they go? Whoa! Ooh, ooh. <laughs> this is insane, but I kind of love it, I really do. Now that can't be comfortable. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> this looks oddly beautiful. Perched aside a pond in Snow White, admiring your reflection. Okay, drop the metaphors, please.
Right, so that's all of them turned off. Oh! I have a hat. What's that? Is that a movie ticket? Yes! Okay. Oh my god! <laughs> Through the study. And then... Ah! Hello! 